Welcome to Applied Food Science and Engineering with Prop Vigent. Let's talk about how damage impacts fruits and vegetables and can make them go bad. Taken as a whole, this squash has a very high water activity. So how come it can sit outside without immediately rotting? As you may have noticed from experience, the outside of most fruits and vegetables is drier and in fact often waxier, so it repels water, than the fruit on the inside. If we have a high water activity substance that is sterile and wrapped in a low water activity barrier, we have something that is shelf stable. Typically, the interior of a fresh vegetable will start out as a sterile environment. From a certain point of view, you could say plants invented canning. Damage, such as cuts and bruises to the skin of a vegetable, can do two important things that send it on the road to going bad. One, it breaks that sterile, low water activity barrier, giving microbes access to the high water activity interior. Further, the goal of a vegetable is to spread its seeds. It can do this by getting eaten by an animal, or if no animal is coming, just digesting itself down into mush so those seeds can get out on their own. This enzymatic cascade is what turns many vegetables brown where they're bruised. So do your part and eat your nice fruits and veggies while they're still good and fresh. Thanks for watching.